Well, hello everyone. Good evening. This is a uh, cowboy. It's Jeff Cowboy uh, Radio Cowboy TV. Coming to you from the treehouse as usual. Here we are. Nice evening here. It is uh, a nice day in Minnesota. But I'm um, a little bitty here about something that uh, befuddles me. And uh, I've been looking at, it and it's kind of kind of weird here. It's called the Venus Project. Before we get to that, remember Friday night's freaky. Uh, Friday show and Saturday morning the NHL playoff show and uh, troll show usually coming up. But um, when we were trolling last Sunday, me and the bitch and Goofy Bone, we uh, were on the Poor Network, which is talk show. Last minute, we decided about 90 minutes into the show, the 125 mark of last Sunday, we got into this shoe and it had to be the Venus Project. Google the Venus Project. Venus Project, as it's pronounced. I talked to this guy for about a good, I don't know, 30 minutes about the Venus Project. So I, I decided to research it. And I, you know, I looked at it, and me and Guardian won, one of buddy of mine. We went into this thing, and I'm like, I mean, I don't know. I understand Kubaya world, and the guy had a hard on for bankers and people inheriting money, and the Venus Project is all about living in like dorm rooms, kind of like, and when it lives the same, and they want you want they, they take away all emotion and more or less you can walk around with any clothes on I guess don't be any emotion towards anybody everyone just gets along in a kumbaya world and there's no money in the system um, you can live whatever you want to do like the guy said his words I can sit on do video games doctors or else be like people just do stuff I mean you really won't work you just kind of do whatever you want to do you can sit around and scratch your nuts I guess I don't know um, I, I was researching on some of this stuff and and if you don't conform, which I call brainwashing, it's what it is, it's a cult. And if, if you don't confine, conform to what they want you to do, they'll hospitalize you, especially for drugs and whatever else. And they take the emotion out of, out of, out of it when you just could be this little robot. Everything will be produced and massive, like the guy said about water or something. And that, and all this poverty. So I understand poverty in the world, but sometimes a lot of people make, one makes decisions in their life. I made a decision to do this video, I'm probably going to. Could hate me, who knows? It, you know, at cowport at yahoo.com. Want to see me email? Go ahead. But um, it was just kind of strange. And you go on the video, on, you go on their website. You know, it's like I said, it's not that tough to, to find them. You know, there's an elderly gentleman and a lady on here, Roxanne Meadows. And I called down the other day, 863 465 0321. When you get hold of somebody, that was on my uh, troll show. One of the minions answered the phone, and you know, he wouldn't answer my, my questions. And he wasn't brainwashed. He told me I hung up as well. Get yourself free brainwashed. So. They just have a lot of weird things. If you don't follow along, they ho they put you in a hospital and they try to re brainwash you. I mean, you can do all you want, live in the kumbaya world, but you're still going to have that emotion. Which I don't want to be like anybody else. I am who I am. I'm cowpoat. I am whatever I do, and I, you know, I, I enjoy to work. I have three jobs: work at a golf course, work at the airport, I work in the fashion business. I like individuality, and they and it would be nice to be able to get along. You know, the Jews don't get along with the Catholics, the blacks, the white, but that's the way that, that's, you know, I don't, I'm the kind of person that about your heart and your head. I get along with Goofy Bone. He's a Mexican gentleman. I don't like rap. Um, he does. He's a rap singer. We get along. We find a common ground. We like blog talk radio. We like to laugh. Um, plenty of people I get along with. Jamie C. Sports. He, he is a young, young boy out of Philadelphia. He's obviously 10 years old. I'm almost 50, but we have a common ground of, of sports. I don't think Jamie C wants to walk around like a robot. I don't think Goofy Bone does. That's what the individuality is, and I don't. I don't like this and Venus Project being like, okay, everyone's going to be the same, and we all get along. And the guy before I had a hard on for people, the bankers, and the money, and you know, and controlling this and controlling that. I just find it extremely strange. Uh, I I, I want to be, you know, extraordinary. I want to I want to work, but I want some handy stuff all the time. I just think that's a born existence if you go on here, but if, you, if, like I said, if you don't conform to the Venus Project, guess what happens? They hospitalize you. And they re, now there's also, if that doesn't work out, you know what the next step is. See you later. And I also noticed to get involved in this, it's a $300, uh, 290 bucks for a library set. And you can go on YouTube and find these guys too. And go on, there's for and against, and I, they, it's just going to be this living in these module things and okay there, there's no okay here's the way I look at it okay uh, if, if it's gonna be a money thing where there's no money involved and they can cure all poverty and all diseases and that here's what I look at if I'm in your if I'm in your 
corner here, young man. Whatever your name, I can't remember your name was now. Um, whatever his name was, uh, I can't remember that down here. I apologize, the leader, Jacques. Sorry, Jacques, Miss Meadows. Um, I would go recruit people to get into your system to do it for free. Say, I need you to help with my Venus project. You would get people that produce v CDs for you and DVDs to get people to come in. And then you'd go out and I have people that do DVDs. I know people in the DVD business that do CDs. There are people like that. There are people out there to go get those people to do it for you. So there was no money coming in. Why do I got to pay into it? Why do I have to pay money into Who am I paying this money? Where's this money going to? Buy some land somewhere in Florida. Get people that build things for you to come in. To build your kumbaya world. Your Marxist. I mean, this is almost like Hitler, but in a different way. I'm sorry to compare it to both, but... Hitler had its had his little. He wanted his Aryan nation and blonde blue eyes and anything else. Um, and it, it's just you read about it. I mean, yeah, politics, poverty, and war. I understand that. It's all part of it. But it's you can't change what people think unless you brainwash them. I mean, there's a great phrase here. A couple of phrases. He who has the gold sets the price. This guy has the gold. He's setting the price. All right. And it's not a lie as long as you believe it to be the truth. So he got people to thinking. You know, that's how it is. They brainwash, they brainwash, they brainwash to get people to think it's so great. I notice a lot of videos for the young people because right now the economy sucks. We all know it, it does suck. I understand that. You got to work a little harder. Hard work was easy. Everybody was doing it. I would get a little drug and I could give people the hard work benefit. But you got to go out and work. And he's making it like just, well, no one works. So if I'm him or her, I would go get people, sir, to help you build your community. Instead of asking money, where's this money going to? This jock. All the other people are going to sit around. So you go get people to, these DVDs should be free, sir. Free. Go get someone that does them for you. Free of charge. To help out this, you know, Marxism thing you're doing here. This kumbaya world. Everything's going to be good. Go buy a bunch of land in Florida somewhere. Like you already, they're already in Venus, Florida. Start building it. So what will happen if something happens in Venus, Florida? And you got to come to uh, somebody like, let's say I'm in the recovery business. You're going to pay me to come help you? I mean, I understand. You know, and the way I look at it too, sir, to get your money, because you're going to need it, obviously. Or I would do this as a, like a project on TV, like have a, like a series. Because it, it, I love I love a lot of your videos. It's really cool. I love the modules. I mean, it's great. Uh, I love it. I, I, the website's great. I love looking at all the, all the what could be and all your videos. I think it's really cool. I think you should do a movie. I think you should do an a, a, a miniseries on this. It's just like that one movie, um, Avatar. People were all on that Kubai world too. People were committing suicide. Well, this is, if you like Avatar, you'll love the Venus Project because this is exactly what you want. Everyone gets along. We're all good. We're all good. And you'll just be, you'll just be basically an individual. You won't be, going to be different. I'm sorry. I, I am who I am. I, I respect people for their difference. We made it to the downturn in our wife because guess what? We didn't spend them on our needs. We didn't overspend all that stuff. Um, we work. I've worked hard since I was a little boy. My wife does. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I just it'd be nice to have that little perfect world, but uh, your world is what you make it in your life. On how hard you want to work. I, don't, I have no problem working hard, working with things that I enjoy, things that I want to work for. I don't want to just live in a dormitory, living, living together, and being oh, we're all the same. We're all yeah, yeah. Who, so who runs this project? Who runs it? Who's the main person? This lady, this guy. Where's all this money going to? I don't. I, I saw videos on it. You have a built thing down there. So where's it all going? This guy's going to live forever, and she's, you know, brainwashed by him. I, I consider it a, a cult. I really do. I consider it a cult. And he's been just living off. I don't think he has any, but she designs it for him. People send him money, message board. And he goes after all the young people because we all know the economy sucks. Like I said. So guess what? It's perfect time to get kids that are getting out of college. I, I, I want that $100,000 uh, your job. I want a job. Well, here's your chance. You don't have to work. We'll pay off your bills for you, whatever else. Or you can come live in the Kumbaya world. That's perfect. That's what he's going after the young guys that are dis disenfranchised right now. A lot of disenfranchised people. You know, with the yes, I, yes, yes, we can with Obama, and that's not working for them right now, the entitlements. So we go entitlements here in the Venus Project. And they all want to live perfectly well together. You'll have your car. You can all live like billionaires. Howard Hughes was a billionaire. He did the most unhappiest, sick person you possibly imagine. I was telling John Subway today, when you're healthy, you're wealthy. I mean, I, what is wealthy to some people? Some people have a lot of cars. I have one house, I'm fine. What I have, I, I, like I said, I don't spend above my needs. 
I, I, my, when it comes to money, you have to charge it. You don't need it. I'm disciplined enough. I enjoy to work for my money. I enjoy to spend it, but I also save it. I am not going to be living in a commune, some of the bunch of people going, yes, sir, yes, sir, then being told, like, you know, people have emotions. If it's going to be sexual, it's going to be greed, it's going to be whatever it may be. And yeah, I, I'm, I do believe people in, in the real world commit crimes. Yeah, you go to jail. If you're doing something bad like blessing kids and, and rape women, I'm, I'm all for capital punishment. But I want people to be individuals. White, black, Hispanic, gay. I don't care if you're gay. You're gonna be happily gay married man. I don't care. I, I just, you start taking the emotion out of people. That's no fun. This Venus Project befuddles me. And it's strange. I've been researching on it. I don't know. I just, it's a cult. I'm sorry. They, they, they're brainwashed people to think everything's going to be kumbaya world. This guy's making money on people. He's making money on people's thing that's going to be all great and all good. What happens if things go south on you? Who's going to help you get out of your little hole? You know, who, but like I said, it's not a lie as long as you believe it to be the truth. Period. That's plain and simple. But I think, sir, if you want money, you got to make yourself a show. You have to have like a weekly, weekly show of the Venus Project. And then you'll get your, I'm sorry, you're going to need it, money to build your little kumbaya world. Have a movie. Have a different series of this and you could have you know, plot in, inside people trying to take over the Venus Project, then you go and get them. There's a lot of things you can do with this to get your money. You're going to need it. Or recruit people that can build for you. Do your DVDs for free. That need to have credibility. They're free. Hand it out, the information out. You recruit people to build your stuff. Go get builders. Recruit them. Come on in. Build it. Build it. You don't need this stuff. All right? Recruit people, sir. Recruit people to give you your DVDs. Because guess what? It's literally no money. Nothing. That's all you got to do. Is have them come on in. Come on in. Build for, for free. Build yourself a house. But I'm sorry. I, I'm, I am who I am. I want people to, I want to enjoy people's difference of opinions. I want that. That's my, I, I don't want people to be the same. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Meadows. Yes, 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 Mr. Meadows. Yeah, whatever you guys want. Oh, I love it here. It's a kumbaya world. I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do that. I don't understand the Venus Project, but do research on that on YouTube. There's all kinds of videos on it. I'll be one of many on YouTube. I'll probably get ridiculed if I don't, so be it. But I'm befuddled by these guys, and it was interesting to talk to that guy last week and hit a hard on for bankers and a hard on for. I've been hearing money. I have for my father. I'm, I still have a lot of that money. I'm fine with that. I mean, it's okay to be born into money. Is it legal to be born into money? I don't think so. I mean, we grew up in a basic family and uh, earned our money. If, you're, if you earn your money fairly, earn whatever you want. When it's illegal, like Madoff, like Petters in town, belong in jail. There's nothing wrong with being wealthy. It it's, it's, shouldn't be a crime to be wealthy in this country. It's been, even before Obama and everybody else, I've told my wife for years, it's always been illegal to be wealthy. If you earn it in a correct way, so be it. Sitting on blog talk, radio, blog talk radio, people are whining because you, you want to pay for a good service. It's not illegal to be, for, to be wealthy. It's not illegal to be sing rap music. Um, it's not illegal to be free. I just think there's just too much of this. Oh, this Venus Project is strange. It's a cult. You know, if you want to just walk around with your, live in, in the same house as everybody else and not work and just run around and do whatever, I guess that's, the Venus Project is your baby, I guess. But um, in closing, I'm, I'm sorry. I, good luck with the Venus Project. Like I said, you want to make money in the Venus Project, you guys. Have your own little TV series on it. I think it'd be very cool and have different fractions inside they're trying to bring down the Venus Project. That's how you get your money or recruit people if they don't want to do it for you. So, Good luck, you guys, Jacques and uh, Mrs. Meadows. We will try to troll you, 863-465-0321. Send them some money if you want to do it. If not, just keep on living your life. This is Kyle Poet on Kyle Poet Radio on Kyle Poet TV. And we'll see you guys Friday night. Thank you, Friday. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Venus Project. Hasta Vista.